So I ended up um, doing the getting rid of the pulp for one of the um, one of the pots that we had, right? So let me show you what that looks like once you get the pulp out of the way, right? So it looks like a paste. Hopefully you can see that in the in the light, right? So it looks like a uh, It looks like what apple spread uh, should look like, right, with the pulp gone. Now, initially what I was going to do is I was going to do each uh, one of the pots separate because this one had, uh, this one was the black one. So it had um, one, one and a half uh, pounds of sugar in there and the other one had two. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix them both together because this isn't deep enough. I wanna, if I'm gonna heat this up, I want this to be larger. Um, that way I can easily access the stuff and then I don't have, I have to do less cleaning and stuff, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get rid of the pulp in the other bowl, in the other pot. Okay, so let's do this. So here's the other pot, right? Okay, so we're gonna depulp this, and because I already had a little trial run on um, the on the previous on the previous pot, I got this thing figured out pretty well now. The the thing that goes around and gets rid of the pulp, because what we did was we just bought it last year, especially for the crab apples, um, because in the past I've had another one that we use at the old, old location, right? So let me show you how this works. And it's a pretty good system. I just wish it was, uh, I gave it a nice wash after doing the last pot, but uh, I wish it was uh, bigger. So my next purchase of these things is gonna be trying to get my hands on a bigger version of this so I can do it simpler without as many rotations. So you basically take this and you flip it the other way around, right? And then it's got little grooves that fit in there. Okay, so that sits like that. And then you take this guy, and this guy has a, oops, this guy has a little thing here, and that fits inside the hole there. So I'm gonna put this down and do it. Okay, because you do need a little bit of pressure. And then you lock this in. You push it down and it locks in, right? And then it goes around really easily. Rotates. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I need a ball. So I need a bowl to take the pulp whatever is left over into the bowl so it doesn't plug up the holes, right? And this is what it's gonna look like. This is the pulp from the previous bowl, uh, previous pot that we did, okay? So let's put this guy on the side. So all we do, you rotate, I guess this is clockwise, to, you know, sift through the stuff to, you know, get the, you know, get it into a paste format. And then the pulp in the apples starts plugging up the holes here. And what you do is you rotate counterclockwise. And what that does, that scrapes off the pulp from the holes on the bottom. So it frees it up. And then what I do is I grab the, the spoon and I grab the pulp and put it in here. Okay, that's what I did in the last bowl, uh, last pot. So this is what we're gonna do for this one. And we'll do a few. I'm not sure if we're gonna do the whole thing with together, but um, let's do some of this. Okay. I'll show you what this looks like. So we're gonna take clockwise. Okay, 
if you lift this up, you can see the paste coming out of the bottom, right? Hopefully you can see that. Okay. And the pulp stays up top. And then after a few rotations, well, this is the first couple of scoops, so it goes through nicely. But then what I do is just go this way, and that frees up the pulp, the holes, opens up the holes, gets the pulp up. And then I do it again, it goes, um, the paste goes through faster. this is or what I did last year and what I'm gonna do this year is put this in a big jar and then fill it up with water and then put it in the fridge and it becomes sort of crab apple drink um, the pulp in this rises up and it mixes up uh, with the liquid so if you wanna if you're okay drinking crab apple drink with the pulp in there um, you know it works fine if you don't like the pulp then all you gotta do is just grab, you know, sieve like this and put it on the glass. And when you're pouring it, uh, this thing captures all the all the pulp. Okay, and then you can have a clear drink uh, or a smoothie drink, I guess, without the pulp. Okay, so let's keep on going on this. And then as this fills up. The orange pot I'm just going to transfer it over to uh, to the bigger pot and then once this is all done then we can start heating up the jars and heating up the, the paste and sealing them off.
So this is touching the paste in the bottom of the pot here. It's touching the this depopper. So what I'm going to do is bring this up. Bring in the apple paste that we have from the other one. Right. I'm going to transfer this guy over. I'm going to need this. Pot. Uh, I did this uh, twice. I emptied two of these guys, the orange pot, into the big guy. This guy is gonna actually might have more. It makes sense, right? Because this one is the one that had uh, two pounds of sugar, right? So by volume, it's got more material in there, more ingredients.
This is the poppy spatula. So this is what we got, right? A pretty large bowl of uh, apple paste or yeah, pretty large pot of apple paste. And um, we're gonna heat this up very, very slowly so the bottom doesn't stick. And then heat up the jars and start jarring them, okay? Uh, fun, a lot of work, but delicious.